A research center for augmenting human intellect is a paper written by Douglas C. Engelbert and William K. English in 1968 on the process, research, and study of man-computer interaction at the research center at Stanford Research Institute. The article describes the research center and how the machinery they use work. They dive into the complexities that make the machinery work like high-level languages, compliers, and so on, almost like a domino effect resulting in high-resolution images appearing on a monitor, and how they use the mouse and keyboard to interact with the interface appearing on the monitor. All in all, the study really had an important hand in the advancement of computers like the ones you're using to watch this today. This article is a research report of early prototype computers and related accessories in 1968. It mainly focuses on the details and logics behind user systems, server system software, and server system hardware. It talks about what user systems can do and how users can interact with the system through mouse and keyboard and how the machines can input files or output files. Then it introduces how user control language works in order to control the system to do what user wants and the very basic form of online system. Then it introduces how mouse and keyboard actually catch user's input. Then the system gives the user a feedback to the display system, so called a monitor nowadays. Even though this article was posted in 1968, the ideas and how detailed it can explain the basics of computers are impressive and even still covers the ideas behind modern computers. The ideas today of this article, a research center for augmenting human intellect, written by Douglas C. Engelbert and William K. English, has a huge influence to modern day way of human computer interaction. One of the widely known inventions by Douglas Engelbert is the mouse. At the computer conference in San Francisco, 1968, the world got to know about the technology of human computer interaction for the first time. We have Douglas Engelbert sitting there for more than an hour to explain how to use the mouse and keyboard to all other computer scientists. Isn't that sounds like a joke nowadays? But at the time, the invention of the mouse is enough to shock the world. You can still find this demo video on YouTube, and even now, people still think this is the most successful and shocking demonstration in computer history. Except the invention of mouse, Douglas' understanding of practical use of personal computer was advanced as well. Back to the 1970s, Douglas already implemented a lot of application to computer. For example, email, electronic computing form, word processor, etc. But it wasn't as famous as the invention of mouse at the time because his understanding was too advanced, that other people thought it is too idealized. However, everything is like all planned by Douglas Engelbert. We are now using email, all the different kinds of apps, as our tools. We all have smartphones and personal computers, and it did become a way to augmenting human intellect.